I've got my clean, dr clean, dry bottle that I alcoholed. I have my very alcoholed oils. And now I have my alcohol on the outside chamomile flowers from a very reputable dealer. Now the last time I did this um, it was really really um, I, I only got like I think three not even three quarters not even half because the chamomile flowers just took up um, so much of the oil, so you have to balance between losing oil and the strength of your product. I think if I put, I mean, these just smell so awesome. This is such a strong chamomile. And when you order from different places, you'll be able to tell who the good ones really are because this smell of these chamomile flowers are amazing. Chamomile is very messy as far as I can tell. I'm always having issues with the mess that it makes. So, and you don't want your scale to be measuring what's, you know, what's not in the bottle. So try to get as much of that stuff off as you can. So right now I'm at, what am I at? Um... Right now I'm at eight ounces on the jar, but my my herb is only at one ounce. And I'm gonna put probably about two ounces of this in. Maybe a little less, because like I said, it absorbs the oil so much that I'm gonna put in like an ounce and a half. See how this goes this time. I know that putting it all the way up to half has not been working for me that well. Okay. So I'm in an ounce and a half of chamomile. I'm not halfway up yet, but it absorbs the oil so much that that's a good idea. So an ounce and a half, and now I'm going to put in my extra virgin olive oil. This is 21.5. So 21.5. What did I do with the arnica? I did. With the arnica, I did 25. So let's see if I can get this to 25. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, 25. And then I'm going to put in my ounce of vitamin E. The jar has been alcoholed. And I'm going to put in an ounce of vitamin E. I want you to see the vitamin E as it comes out.
Vitamin E is very expensive, so if it's dripping, you want to hold it until it finishes dripping. You don't want to waste any of this stuff. And you want to try to make it so that it doesn't drip, otherwise you will waste the stuff. Okay, so that's one ounce of vitamin E. And let's see how well we do with the apricot. I barely got an ounce of apricot in there. That's low. Low, 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 low. So, I need to alcohol my top and my ring. Look at that lovely, 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 lovely chamomile. I think chamomile is so nice to watch it. Now, you want to shake it. You want to give it a good shake. And, you know, especially because you've got different oils in there and you've got the vitamin E. And you want to make sure that, you know, it is going to uh, show your... Um, your oils. Now this is um, chamomile that has been uh, infused in just sweet almond oil so it should be the same uh, it should be the same type of viscosity as what we're doing today and you can see that this is darker than that. So the infusion is going well, as far as I can see. I think that chamomile is really cool. So what we're gonna do now that I've got this, we're going to clean this up. I'm going to tag this and put it in my notebook as well, how much we have, and then we're gonna do the price comparison between the two. Okay, so I'm looking at my two different oils. And for this one, I got 29.4 product. For this one, I got 28.5. So my Arnica is 510 for the Arnica, 525 for the extra virgin olive oil, 48 cents for the apricot oil and 250 for the vitamin E. Now you could look at this and say, okay, 1333 is way too high for an end product. I don't really need to put the vitamin E in at this stage. I put it in because it, it helps um, stabilize the oils. You don't have to put it in. I like to put it in and I like to keep things standard. The chamomile is $1.35. The extra virgin olive is 525, the apricot is 20, and the vitamin E is 250. So that's for 930. And you can look at this and you can decide, you know, what kind of oil do you want to use? Do you want to put vitamin E in? And the fairest way to do this, I think, is to divide 28.5, 930 by 28.5 or 1333 by 29.4. A lot of people wait till they bottle it and then they'll use what the end result is. I just don't think that's fair because even if you get, even if I get 25 ounces of oil from this, I still have the amazing, you know, properties of Arnica. So I think that 1333 divided by 29.4 is the it is the fairest way to do it. Some people will do it by 32, but I think that you are going to shortchange yourself if you do that. So you see the difference between I mean these two are basically very very similar, 
but because of the difference in price of the arnica and the chamomile the the end product oils are very very different so make sure that you're you are doing exact amounts otherwise you're going to lose product and you're going to lose money so that's how to do it and that's the difference between two um, different herbs so don't guess at this stuff because if you do it's really harmful to your bottom line